couldn't run if you wanted to. Get a peek soon enough. Just try and behave. I'm not gonna make any promises. <laughs> Cheeky boy, aren't you? We'll see how long that lasts. He's come to meet you. Must be snow. Sid Rains, Brigadier General of the Fleet. Hi, Sid. Thanks for the escort. <sighs> Apologies. I just had a few questions to ask you. If it works like they tell us, that means she must have fulfilled her focus. Sarah! <clears throat> fulfilled her focus. As a tainted pulse will see, that is. <clears throat> You think she was out to hurt, Cocoon? I'd hardly be alone if I did. When it comes to Pulse, who could claim to know anything? I need the truth for the sake of Cocoon. The sake of Cocoon? We're from Cocoon. Shipping us out, purging innocent people. That's how you lend us a hand? Those are the Sanctum's methods. The public fears what it doesn't know. It's grown tired of living in constant terror of these threats from the world below. So, the Sanctum devised a plan for you, Lucy. I'll bet. A public execution. <clears throat> the people don't know any better. Strike down the phantoms before their eyes, and they sleep like babes. No! <clears throat> the Sanctum has intelligence on the other Lucy already. It's only a matter of time. You'll never kiss them. I see. We'll need your help then, won't we? Kidding, right? I mean it. <sighs> you can't drop the breakup bomb like that. <laughs> Being alone's all right, I guess. Yep. Always was until we met. Then we did. And now I know there's something better. Being with you. come too far to quit now it's not your choice you really want to leave me I don't want to I have to listen it's over please just stay away from me what happened at least tell me that if it was something I did just say it
Look. Branded by Pulse. I'm a Lassine. No. Enemy of Cocoon. Danger to us all. Get it now? You're my enemy. Goodbye. Sarah, where are you? All right, yo, let me save the game, yo. Where you at, yo? Trying to find that, trying to find that uh save point, dude. Uh, yeah, <laughs> what's going on, guys? Uh, I'm just uh recording this cutscene for you, I guess. I don't really know why. Um, yeah, but I need to try and find a save point really quick. Uh, and there is one, none, of course, obviously, yeah. Whatever, let's just continue into wherever we need to go, which is right here. Let me, let me, let me through! Okay, let's try again. Uh, this is where I have to go, right? Oh, I had to talk to her. Hey, 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 girly, talk to me. Okay, never mind. Just gotta go back out here. Oh, Huh? What, what did she say? I don't mean to be insensitive, but if you get that upset just talking about breaking up, it's no wonder it happened. Bruh. How are you just gonna make me sick? Ah, my gosh. No feelings whatsoever. Oh, there she is. Dang, how could I not see her from there? I'm so stupid. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. your focus. We'll see you have a focus, right? I'll go with you. Help you do it. Just let me. No. If you're with me, the sanctum will... I will be with you. No matter what. We've come too far to quit now. I don't know. Focus. I'm gonna be a monster. Not if I'm here. I'll protect you. We'll figure this out. Do it together. Okay? Okay. It's true what they say. Yeah. When we're finished, I'll turn to crystal. Don't worry. When the sea complete their focus, they're blessed with the gift of eternity. They wouldn't call it eternity if you doubt it. Mm. You'll see. Even if death was all that she had waiting, nothing would have changed. Sarah was brave enough to face it.
Alright, so uh, yeah, I know that was Cutscene City, but I think that'll be it for this episode. Probably. Yeah. Even though this is only like a 10 minute episode, and it was like cutscenes all the way, so. Huh. <laughs> Bye!